one of the things that's very important is that rabbits always eat. And so if they're not eating for more than 24 hours, you want to have them in to see a veterinarian. One of the most common things we see is what we call a bezoar. Bezoar is a fancy name for a wad of something stuck in the stomach. And so a trichobezoar is a hairball, a phytobezoar is a ball of their hay and the material that they're eating. And basically what happens is this gets stuck in the stomach and then they can't eat because their stomach's very swollen. It's very dry so it can't make its way through the intestines and get into that cecum where it's going to be digested. And so they're essentially blocked. Based on their anatomy, it's very, very difficult, almost impossible for a rabbit to vomit. And so they can't throw that up when they get stuck. So if you have cats, you might think, oh, hairball's not a big deal. They get them, they just throw them back up, and then they go on about their day. Rabbits, it's very, very difficult for them to vomit based on their anatomy. When they have these problems, they can't throw the hairball up, it can't move forward, and so it gets stuck in the stomach. So one of the things we do is we take an x-ray, and we look to see if the stomach is distended with a lot of food material or plant material. And if we see that, then we have some specific treatments that we can do. A lot of it involves giving them some oral medications, a little bit of a laxative, usually an antibiotic because their digestive tract is not working, so they get some bacterial overgrowth in that GI tract. And again, these are all things that at this point, it's very important to go see your veterinarian. Um, once you've done it a few times, you might be able to manage it on your own at home, but you really want to A, try to avoid this from happening, and B, um, get, get some professional help before you try to start managing this because this is a situation that if it's not resolved can lead to the point they need surgery and if it's not resolved for about a week or more it can lead to the point they could have problems that, that could lead to death. So it's very important to get a veterinarian involved early in the process and usually it's some medical treatment gets it taken care of and you're good to go from there. That is one of the reasons as well that it's very important to keep this Timothy hay available at all times. That hay acts as a fiber source for them and it just keeps things moving through. So they do this constant grazing and that small amount of feeding all the way through the day with that fiber allows them to pro process their food and move it through. As opposed to trying to give them two big meals a day, they eat a whole bunch of stuff at once. They can't get enough moisture in there to kind of help it digest in the stomach and that's more likely for it to get stuck at that point. So that's another reason that it's very important to keep this hay available at all times.